Hello preparedness people and welcome to the Bigs Prep. My name is Cynthia. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you're returning, you rock for supporting my channel. I got another Sam's Club update from my buddy Nina. So if you're ready, press the like button and let's get right into it. We started off with this shot of the top of the store. The stock is still very low. This is the paper towels and toilet paper section, completely empty. There are no paper towels in the entire store to be had other than the tri-fold kind. We're gonna see those in a minute and they're not where they're supposed to be. Next up is the water. This is very low stock for the water and they were completely out of Dasani. This is the to-go containers for restaurants. They didn't have any at all, completely out of stock, and there's those trifold paper towels. They had no creamer cups, like the kind that you get inside of a restaurant. They did have Coffee Mate and the French vanilla kind, but none of the original. Remember in my last Sam's Club video when they had turkeys for $1.19 a pound? Now, turkey is $2.48 a pound, still limit to, and these are a hickory smoked turkey versus a plain turkey. The good news is they had plenty to pick from. The prime rib roast, a lot of people eat this for Christmas, $19.98 a pound, which prime rib is a nice cut of meat. Look at this roast, $101. What will you be serving for Christmas dinner this year? I will not be serving prime rib roast, that's for sure. I saw this photo and thought, watermelon, $8. That's not a bad price. And then when I saw them, they're the personal sized watermelons that normally when they're in season are about four bucks. Great price on these crescent rolls, two bucks and they had a lot of them. This was a really good price. If I could eat crescent rolls, I definitely would have got more than a few tubes. Soda was up by six cents a can. These photos were sent to me by my friend Nina who runs a local diner. That six cents a can times her entire business day, it really eats into her profits. I think the price of soda will continue to rise as the aluminum shortage gets worse. She's been telling me about the sugar issue for a couple of months. They haven't had 50 pound bags of sugar in months at our local Sam's Club. This week they had two kinds of sugar to pick from. They had organic cane sugar and they finally got in some 10 pound bags of regular sugar. If you look, there's only one pallet of bags. That's not very much considering it's the holidays. Roast beef up $2 a pound, but there was none to be had. Probably going bad on this shelf because people just stopped buying it. You can see that here there's a price reduction of $2 per package. But if you look, the package is not even a full two pounds. It's just over one pound, $7.84 a pound. And that's on markdown. In my last Sam's Club video, the boxes on the bottom of this rack were empty and the ones on the top were full. This week they seem to have more stock in. The cooler is pretty empty, but they have more of a variety. I see Brussels sprouts and asparagus, some tricolor coleslaw. There's not a ton considering there's restaurants that need supplies. Check out these at home tests for the V that starts with a C. $14 for two tests. It kind of makes me wonder if these are effective against the new O-M-I-C-R-O-N variant that's out there. Next time I swing by the tinfoil section, I'll pick some up so I can make myself a hat. Hamburger was a pretty decent price at $3.31 a pound, and these roasts, $5.98 a pound, not a bad price. I'm still able to do better than that at my local Winn-Dixie. Here's a wide shot of the chicken cooler. There are still limits in place, two packages per card member. Looking behind the chicken cooler, that looks a little more full. Although some of those boxes on the bottom look empty, that seems to be a strategy that Sam's Club is using right now is to fill the cooler with empty boxes. Are you finding that you're seeing differences between big box stores and a regular retail store? Let me know in the comments down below. 
are the big box like Sam's Club, Costco stores shorter on supplies than say a Walmart or a you know Harris Teeter or a, an Aldi? Or is it the opposite? Are the big, big, you know, membership club warehouses more stocked than your local store? Moving on to breakfast items. This bacon I posted last week, $17.68. This week, the price actually dropped to $16.47. Large eggs last week, $28.38. This week, price reduction, $26.22. Stock seems about the same in the cooler. And we're going to finish up with a shot of the coffee aisle. That is not a lot of stock. Rounding us out is the diced tomato section. Very, very low stock and price was 60 cents a can, which isn't all that bad, but the stock could be better. Thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. Hope you got something out of it. If you're not preparing and grabbing stuff when you see it, now is the time. Just grab it when you see it. Just get stuff into your pantry so that you can have food in your belly for you and your family. Thank you again, and remember, I'd rather be a year early than a day late.